Uh, what is up everyone? Um, we bought a downhill bike. This is my very first downhill bike I've ever owned. I have ridden a few in the past, but I'm just so stoked to have this thing. Uh, it's a 2022 Specialized Demo Race. And I bought this from Ridgeline uh, Bike and Ski in Boise, Idaho. So if you're ever in the area, definitely go check them out. They have sweet bikes there. Um, and they have parts in stock, which is pretty nice. So like I mentioned, uh, this is my first downhill bike, which would mean I don't have any really experience on downhill bikes aside from a few of a uh, few bikes that I've uh, ridden that were my buddies. Um, and I came off a Specialized Enduro, which was an S4, and this is an S4. And I realized that people, you know, they wish Specialized makes uh, you know, made an S5 in this bike. Um, I'm about 5'11", 6 feet, and this S4 fits absolutely perfectly. So I'd say as long as you're, I say under 6'1 or 6'2, then you'll be perfectly fine on this bike. Uh, any taller than that, and I, it'll be a bit cramped, but it might work. Um, so since I haven't really uh, ridden downhill bikes much, I can't give you like too much of a, a really thorough first impressions because I, I really have nothing to, to uh, relate to the bike to aside from my enduro. Um, I know that the geometry in this bike is solid. It's close to many other downhill bikes. Um, the bike just feels, felt like it's pretty easy to set up. The suspension isn't dialed yet, but uh, we'll get there. And overall, I mean, this thing corners like an actual absolute beast. Um, it just goes through the rocks as you expect with any other downhill bike. But yeah, this thing's just super solid. One thing I did change out was the uh, rear wheel. I immediately changed it out because I wanted to run 29er anyways, came stock with mullet. And I also heard some not so great things about the specialized roval wheels. I do have one up front though, and I wrote for the first time today and it stayed true. But then again, you know, back wheels tend to take more abuse. So uh, I just have my uh, Santa Cruz Reserve 30 carbon uh, wheel on there. Another thing is that I think the spec on this bike is pretty solid for the price. Typically, Specialized is, you know, pretty overpriced and you don't always get the best spec. But um, for, I think this bike runs about $7,000 and it does come with an aluminum frame. Uh, I'm not sure why I prefer aluminum, but I think actually most of the reason why that is, is, you know, the pro racers ended up riding aluminum carbon and carbon versions of the bike and they chose the aluminum one. At least that's how it was with Trek, the session. So I'm going to assume it's the same thing for this bike. Either way, uh, I love the frame, beautiful color and just sturdy, super sweet. It comes with the Olin suspension and uh, I got SRAM XO on for the shifting. So this is a solid bike and uh, I mean, the Magura, the Magura MT7s are just incredible. Um, once they're bedded in, obviously, just like any, any other brake needs to be bedded in, but these things are uh, just great. Uh, let's skip to some of the riding footage now.
ಸಹಿಸಿದ